Okie dokie guys, welcome to Rising World. So, let me just have a very quick scout around. I just want to make sure we're on a decent uh, bit of land, I guess. Not just on a small poxy little island. So, I've had a bit of trouble trying to load up a suitable world to start on. Um... A few times I've started on the edge of a massive cliff and a few times we've started on a tiny little island so so let me just have a quick look around I just want to make sure I don't need to restart the seed again regenerate another world it's looking uh, okay let's run down here quickly Let's get to the peak of this mountain, have a look around. This doesn't look too bad, but I do want to get one with a few different biomes. Um, yeah, so this is Rising World. I almost said New World. But this is the new version of Rising World, so it's been around for a while. Um, they've just recently had another update with the animals so you've now got old and young male and female which is really cool I think they've added in some more uh, deer species a couple more deers from what I understand um, yeah so we're just here to check it out start start building up an empire okay this this looks pretty decent. I just want to have a quick look up here. Um, it would be nice to have a few different types of biomes, but if not, we can always, we can build a, a boat, basically, and um, sail to new lands eventually when we're ready to do that. Actually, I quite like this. Okay, so this is looking pretty suitable. Now we've just got to decide where we want to actually build. Okay. Hmm. That'll be the question. Is there enough room down there? You know what? Hmm. 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 Okay, let me just pop back up here. Sorry guys, I'm a bit indecisive. Um, I want to make sure we have a suitable area to build because I want to go fairly big. I'm just thinking we can like, we can stretch around. So even if I was to start building down there, because I love that biome and you'll know why when I get close to it. It's kind of like the enchanted woods. So I'm going to start down here. And we can always build along. We can even build across onto the next island. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah, this game is absolutely awesome. I I played the very old version of this when it looked like Minecraft, basically. Um, kind of got my head around things back then. But, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not what you would call a veteran at this game by any means. I am still fairly new. I know a lot has changed since I last played. So it's basically like, for me, it's basically starting a brand new playthrough of a game that I am very unfamiliar with. Um, it looks very different and it looks amazing. Looks so much better than what it used to be. The animals look amazing. The trees, the grass, the mountains, everything. Just the graphics are so much better. Hmm. Okay, I thought all of this was kind of flat. 
but it's definitely not. So let's just pop around here and see what the terrain's like. If it's too hilly to build on, which, hmm, there is more of this biome across, across there on the next little island. So let's just go have a look. What do we got? Hemp. We'll take hemp fiber. Yeah, so this is the really cool biome. I haven't yet experienced it. I've just seen pictures. Oh, there's a lamb. So yeah, here's the baby lambs. Baby animals. So we must have mama lamb. That looks like a mama lamb as well. Okay, let's get some... Is this copper? Let's start gathering as we go. Oh, that's iron. Okay. We need plenty of that. Oh, yeah, the inventory is completely different. Awesome. That looks way better. That was one of my biggest gripes, I guess, with the um, with the with the old version was this UI was just tiny. I used to strain my eyes trying to see. And what's this? Crafting. Okay, I was going to say, where is the crafting menu? But here it is. So, oh man, there is so much you can do in this. Honestly, this is going to keep us so busy. Soccer. There's the boat. Miscellaneous soccer. What? Oh, it's interesting. But yeah, there, there's all sorts, honestly. We can go really modern if we choose to in our builds or we can just go medieval or just yeah early settler kind of styles whatever you want to do okay so a small tent 64 stick eight cloth one rope okay you used to be able to build a little shelter so general oh yeah primitive shelter Okay, so this is what we start with. We can sleep in this. We can save. Oh, yeah, there's little shelters or canopy. Canopy shelters. Okay, yeah, so there's still a fair bit of the... the old stuff that used to be in the game as well. Furnishing... So yeah, you need different workbenches for a lot of this stuff. Um, well, you used to. I don't know if they ch changed that. So now you got primitive workbench, modern workbench. Yeah, there used to be like a saw bench. Wait, can we? Ah, okay. Have they? I think they've taken out a lot of the different workbenches. Because there used to be like a block bench, saw bench. I know the saw bench is where you got like all of your furnishing blueprints table. Oh, the anvil's still there, spinning wheel. Okay, yeah, so it looks like there's a bit less. Because there used to be a lot. It was almost like it was too kind of overwhelming, to be honest. And probably a bit of an overkill, but it was fun. Okay, let's collect this. So yeah, guys, my plan for this Let's Play is to basically just, you know, build base. I don't know. I, I haven't really even planned, to be honest, but I just want to build big. Um, it would be nice to build, I don't know, kind of like a proper little i guess village i do like going kind of old school early settler style but we might i don't know yeah i just don't know yet guys so we're we're gonna just see as as we go through where we end up um i don't know how far to take this playthrough but if you guys enjoy this if you want to see more you know then i love playing this game i'll play this for the rest of my life so yeah, this is the um 
This is the biome. The enchanted woods, I call it. Okay, we've got a pumpkin. We'll take that. Thank you. Okay, so now we've got to decide where to build. That's always the hard part for me. I mean, sometimes it's pretty obvious if you got a nice big kind of flat area. But this terrain is pretty full on. So I'm going to cross over to the next little island there. I actually really like this map. We've got like three islands or more. They're all pretty decent size. Eventually we're going to have to build like a bridge. You can swim. I can swim through there. Well, yeah, you should be able to. Yes. Alright. Now, one thing I thought they might have changed as well is you can see your food and your water icons down the bottom right hand side. Now, oh, I guess they're green, so when it starts to go down, it'll. I think it will go kind of yellow and then orange and eventually red to indicate you're getting quite low. But see how you've got to bring up the inventory to actually see where you're at with it. So that's still the case, but that's all right. It's it goes down that slow. It's it's never a concern the drink and the water in this game. It's very mellow. Very very mellow this game. Okay, so sorry guys, this will sort of be just, you know, a bit of a running around kind of episode until I find something suitable. Okay, there's that biome again, which is awesome. I want to build near that. I think the spot is going to be up here. There's some pigs. Oh, little piglet. Hello. Okay, I think we're going to build up here. We're almost there, guys. We can start building very soon. Let's take down a tree. That's probably one thing we're a little bit limited on, is trees. But you can replant. It's a shame to see such a beautiful tree fall down. But it's not going to go to waste, that's for sure. And we can replant, so... Well, I hope you still can. Yep, there we go, the saplings. Alright. Um, so yeah, if I, if I go here... And then, yoink. Oh, you don't have to hold it down anymore. You used to have to hold the right uh, mouse button down to place. But now it happens instantly. That's, yeah, that's way better. So much easier. And I love the music in this game. I wish you could just have it playing the whole time. Kind of cuts in and cuts out. But it's really beautiful. Really relaxing. Oh, chicken. Shall we? Let's eat a slice. Before we start building. Alright, this is the spot, guys. Oh, wait. What have we here? Okay, down here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm excited and I'm indecisive. I do want to start building. But, wow, this is way larger than what I thought it was going to be, this island. So if we can find a nice big area, even this, this looks perfect for a starting point. Let's do it. Let's dive into it. All of this looks great. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just gather up some more wood. Here's a birch tree. Beautiful tree. Let's 
So let's just take down a few of these. Is that two trees? Oh, it is. See if we can take them both down together. Boom. Was that one tree? I don't know. Oh, it was one tree. Okay, first thing we want to do is build a little shelter. So let's do that now. Well, after I chop this. Okay. Oh no, how do you rotate again? Okay, I think the arrow keys, yeah, still the arrow keys. Okay, um... Oh yeah, you, you still have to hold to place. I actually like that, because then you're not accidentally plonking stuff down when you don't mean to. Okay. Primitive bench. Lumber. Mm, let's do max. Maybe 36. Okay, let's do max. Uh, actually, we probably don't need that many. We need a fair few sticks for most things. Well, in the beginning, anyway. We'll have to make a fire. Okay. So, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? We need... Primitive shelter. That's what we want. There we go. Now, can we do the campfire? No, we need stone and a couple of logs. Bonfire. This takes a few more. Can it be shelter? Drying rack. Alright. So. Let's place this bad boy down. Oh. I'm not too phased about positioning these at the moment. This is just temporary, just to get set up. Um, okay. I guess the next thing is probably campfire. So, wait, no, we need tools. So primitive stone axe. Oh yeah, you can use that as a pickaxe. Of course, I was doing that just before with the iron. Um, and then eventually we'll move to these iron tools, but obviously we need iron ignits, ingots. Sorry, I always get that wrong. Ingots, ingots. Um... So primitive smelting furnace, 64 stone, that's right, okay. So we'll go after this next, I think. We'll, we'll do the fire, and then we'll, we'll get the furnace sorted. Right. Bear with me, guys. I just need to get some stone. Is bit. Does it tell you how much it gives you when it breaks? Should do. Uh, oh yeah, down the bottom there. 20 stone. Okay. Should be enough for the fire. About to start raining, I think. Alright. Um... So if I press C, does that get me into crafting? No. There should be a shortcut. B. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Is this going to make us cold? And we're probably not going to be able to light the fire, but that's alright. Two logs. Okay. Oh, massive downpour. Oh, 
know that it varies with plant kinds. Oh no, oh they're, they're those little, oh what do you call them? Um, ah uh, it'll, it'll come to me. They're in grounded. Okay, so crafting fire I place you here see if I can light it even though it's raining we can I just turned it off let's see if it Continues to burn. Actually, that's right. You never used to be able to turn them on and off, I don't think. They used to just burn. Consistently. From memory. But that's cool. I like that. It's good we can turn it off when we're not using it. Um, okay. Furnace. Here we come. Seven stone. So what do we got? 29. We need like 60 something. So let's continue. And what I might do, I'll collect up these stones, guys, and I'll I'll be back with you in a moment. Hey okay, guys. So I got enough for the furnace. So let's craft that. Here we are. Oh yes, we need the workbench. Of course. Oh. Okay. I'm going to place it here for now. So, I know you used to have to put the wood in the side. Oh, yeah, you still have to do that? Okay. So, let's go get some wood. Or do we have some? Oh, we've got lumber. That's right. You need to use lumber. So let's load this up. So if I hold down the right mouse button, we'll just load that up. Cool. And now we can turn it on. Turn it off. Amazing. Now, where's our ore? Let's put that in there. So I know if you hold down right uh, the right mouse button, It'll just, yeah, hold it down and it'll place them all in there. Okay. Here we go. We've got some iron going. Very, very nice. Um, now, that used to take ages to melt down into iron bars. So, hopefully, it doesn't take as long as it used to. So what's the next thing we want? Okay, we, we want to build this standard workbench used to craft common tools. Very simple workbench used to craft basic tools. Okay, so let's let's go after this. Modern workbench, we're not going to worry about that till way further down the line. Anvil, 16 iron ingots so that's a while away allows you to organize and select your blueprints hmm yeah so the next thing we want is obviously this workbench so we need four iron ingots which are on the way now clothing as you can see there's nothing in the way of clothing because we're 
going to have to do the spinning wheel. And there used to be... Ah, uh, you know what? Okay, so... So as we go and we lay down workbenches, it's going to open up more options in the way of more... More benches and stuff, I think. Because I know the clothing, you used to use... I can't remember what it was called. But there was this and then like a yearn? Possibly? I don't know if that's right, but... But yeah, here's an old chest. Can we do that? 32 lumber. Yeah, we need some more. Straw bro uh, bed. Wooden barrel. Can we use to store items? 32. Oh yeah, they're 32. 28. Okay, let's make an old chest. 32 lumber. Is this done yet? Nope. Okay, it's getting quite late in the day now. So let's make some lumber. The other thing we can do is craft a rake. So if I go here. Oh no, okay, so you can't do the... Oh yeah, wooden rake. 16 stick. Oh, I can make that, can I? Wait, there is no suitable crafting station. Uh, am I on the crafting station? Oh, what on earth is going on here? Is it Blood Moon? Is it Zombie Attack? Why did it go super, super red? Okay, that's a bit weird. What we're going to do... These aren't ready. Let's sleep. What on earth was that noise? Oh, these are done. Okay. So you might have to wait for them to cool down. That never used to be a thing. Did that burn me? Nope. Ah, what? Pick up. Take all. Ah, yeah. Ignite. Ah, that's cool. So if you hold down F, you get these options. And you can take all. Awesome. That never used to be a thing either. Okay, so I can make should be able to do this but no it's saying there is no suitable crafting station so obviously we need the next one so 32 lumber okay should be able to do that now and then let's grab this Beautiful. Put you down here. Uh, what way do you go? Yep, 
Yeah, so without the rake, you can't level out the ground. That's why everything's going to be a bit... How's it going? For a bit. A bit wonky. Um, let's just... Oh, gee. Okay, let's just put it here. You can always pick them up as well and move them. Okay, so let's try and do this rake. Uh, wooden rake, that's the one. Yeah, see, we can do it on this bench. Okay, cool. Right, so let's level out this ground a little bit. Boom, boom. wonder if you can still get worms as well. Just be able to get um, worms for bait. When you'd rake, it was great. Oh. Oh, well, I was going to move that anyway. Okay. This works a lot better than what it used to as well in the old game. It used to be quite frustrating. Okay, let's level out a nice big area. We can we make this fall over and turn into a box? Nope. I don't think we need that anymore. Okay, let's reposition all of this stuff now that it's nice and flat. Alright, just got to remember how you do that. Okay. So, this place you, he's still crooked. Ah, oh, oops. Okay, I've got control over that as well. I see. So that was my fault that it was crooked. It wasn't the ground. But yeah, you obviously want flat surface yeah let's put that there because yeah we'll build out that way um yeah there's heaps of space i mean yeah let's just plonk these things along there so if i want to pick you up pick up Ah, oh, you got to hold, yep. Awesome, here we go. Now we need to get into the side of this to fill it up with wood. So let's place it around about there. Now, did that take the wood when I moved it? It did. Oh well. It's okay. So now... Let's pick you up. And I'm just going to place you here. And put the fire. You never used to be able to pick up the fire. So that's handy. You used to have to destroy it. Build another. Alright. Look at that, guys. We have established a little bit of a camp. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll continue to level out the ground. I'm going to level out a lot of this ground, get ready for building. Um, I might work toward getting the an uh, anvil. So we need 16 iron ingots. So that's quite a lot. So I'll get that going. What do we need for this? Oh, we can make the spinning wheel. Eight stick. I just need a few more sticks. So I might make this, this. It's 128 stone. And then iron sheets. Okay, we need the anvil for the iron sheets. Yeah, but I might continue on for a bit, guys. I'll make some storage. Um, start leveling this out. 
And yeah, just just get things moving. It is a very grindy game, obviously, but I don't know. The the grind is just so relaxing. So it's very enjoyable. Every bit of bit of gameplay, whether you're grinding or you're building or or exploring, it really doesn't matter. This game is so underrated. So if you haven't tried this one out, guys, I highly recommend it, honestly. You'll have so much fun. So anyway, guys, I might leave this episode here. And until next time, take it easy. Thanks, guys.